Many deliveries from China today. Let's get started. So, this one was fragile. Let's see what's inside. Wow, it's really good packed. Okay. Oh, okay, it's one of the TFC modules for the Arduino Uno. Oh, I don't have to cut it open, I think. No, it's laminated. So, this one, yeah, it has the UNO shield footprint and 3.3 volts SD card, um, shift registers I think, or buffers, and here this, no, what this is, maybe a jumper of some kind, a button here. K1, no, no, and yeah, and resistive. You can see how that flexes with the stylus here. So it fits uh, on Arduino Uno like this the shield, and also on the Remos D1. But I think this could. Uh, this won't work because uh, the ESP doesn't have that many data pins and we have at least here eight data pins and some control pins so uh, so this won't work with uh, with the ESP because uh, yeah we don't have that much um, pins here we, we could um, use Let's say an Uno as as a driver for um, the display here. Okay, great. Or we use a shift register. This could work as well. So I checked the tracking number. It's the uh, wholesale price: 2.4 inch TFT, a 240 by 320, and nine dollars and six cents including shipping so this was this one now next one this one is really heavy i don't know it's i think at least one kilogram even more i think probably yeah it's it's over one kilogram i i would say <laughs> but they say it's 20 gram <laughs> funny Okay, so what is this? Okay, some screws. Oh, yes, please. Oh. oh! Oh! that's great! Oh, that's so great! So... So, you can see uh, these are batteries and... Um, yeah, it are... Uh, you can see here close... Um, 16 watt hours uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, batteries. So this should be uh, 5 amp hours. So they are really thick and yeah we got the screws and nuts for the terminals here. Yeah but 
Yeah, they, they will work, but they could give me flat ones. Yeah, however, um, wow, we can put them in series like this. Oh, this is so great. Oh, I love it. A little bit rusty. I have to clean this up. Yeah, but uh, this way we have already here 9.6. So, um, yeah, this will be 12 volts, like this here, 12 volts, and we can go up to 24 volts using the, these iron, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, I, I even forgot I ordered them. Oh, this one is rusty as well. So the nuts that are welded to them are a little bit rusty. So maybe I'll measure it. Okay, 13.2 volts, so they are even charged. And wow. Oh, I love it. This is so great. Okay, um, why did I buy them? Because I have uh, two motors here and uh, these are running at 24 volts and yeah, I could use these here to drive them. I'm so happy I got them. Great. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's check the price. Uh, it was 3530 uh, for these eight pieces and um, ten dollars shipping and they did cost a total of forty five dollars thirty if you um, search for lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, with um, capacities in this area um, they will always cost like 50 euros or uh, 50 dollars uh, for a complete set like this so uh, with um, 45 dollars as a on the low side uh, of the cost but um, yeah it was an investment and uh, I hope it pays off with a cool project wow wow this is powerful oh shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, this one is great I love it oh great yeah, 24 volts, huge power pack here. Ah, 24 volts times 5 is... Uh, it's 128 watt hours. So, what's this one? LCD modules. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, only one. Yeah, times one. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this doesn't look very good quality here. Uh, it came like this here. So, I think this could be simply some stains. Yeah. It's not something under the glass. It's on top, I think. Yeah, but um, I'm not sure the this quality here. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, so this one is for, I guess, Arduino Mega. <laughs> it, it states here. There was probably another IC here for something, I don't know. Uh, voltage regulation probably SD card and what else button as well this, I think it's without any touch sensing so let's check which one this was 320 by 480 pixels so higher pixel density than the others and um, to 3.2 inch and it's simply FTFT and it 
that cost like seven seventy five. It fits well here. So we have here the data connections and here the little bit bent uh, pins for the power, I think. Should be power, yes. It's power and it's powered by... Oh, now it's reset and 3.3 .3 volts, so we, I guess... Um, this is simply for resetting it. Uh, I don't know if I like to use the Arduino Mega for it. Oh, uh, it isn't even lined up very well. Uh, so, as you can see here, um, the holes aren't lined up and also the board isn't here. I can see it like here. Yeah, but uh, seven dollars for a TFT. Let's see if we can create something using this. Great. So, last but not, not least, packet for today. I uh, really want to see it because it's the e paper. So, spoiler it's the e paper and it even came with an invoice. Wow, oh, that's great. This is not very common when I'm ordering from China. How do I open it here? Like this. So uh, it came with some wires and yeah, it seems to be really tiny. <laughs> wow, they preloaded it with um, some picture here. Oh, this is great. And this cable here, so it's JST connector. Does it? Woof! It's just really hard. Okay. One point five inch. It says. Oh. We have here some inductors. It's probably for some kind of power boost converter or something. 3.3 volts, that's good. So we can drive it using it, the ESP, I guess. And it has some mounts here. So. This is good with uh, these mounts. I have some over here. So we can create a stand or something, or even more with this plastic ones, nylon ones. Hmm. Ah, this is interesting. So I think um, this could be. A uh, good uh, thing to have for the weather station. Let's say we put an um, um, ESP or WeMOS, put this in and put this on and let it deep sleep and wake up each minute and update the values here. 
and we can get the values from a weather station that's uh, maybe outside and um, collect the data using MQTT. So I think um, this is a nice project, but I think I have to make a video about setting up MQTT first because um, then it is easier to simply uh, refer to the video with the MQTT setup for local MQTT and then we can use this simply to set everything up. Okay, uh, these were the deliveries from China from this week and uh, yeah, good ones, good ones. I really love the batteries. I'm really looking forward to do something with them.